everybody this is Sherry with CPR craft pray repeat and I want to share with you a card that I made this is a more or less a video response for Elaine who is Max and Soji here on YouTube and she requested cards for a 90 I think she said 93 year old gentleman he is his name is Donald he is a World War II vet. He was in the second wave of Normandy. And the military and supporting the military is held a very special place in my heart. If you can't tell by the trembling of my voice, I I just feel like that they don't get enough recognition, support, and that we as Americans do not appreciate enough what they do for us and our country. And so now I'm going to try to calm down and tell you about my card. And so when she put this up and then she was requesting uh, cards to try to make him feel better. He had just come out of the hospital. There is a few things that she requested that we do not send like get well cards or something like that. She just wanted a regular, you know, like thinking of you or something like that. And so I messaged her and asked if it would be okay to do a thank you for your service card. And she said that would be fine. And it actually took three, um, three different SVG files to make this. Because the hat is from one. The little penguin body is from another. The flag is from a different one. And then the star border is from Design Space. I made a 5 by 7 card and the little glasses are also <laughs> from Design Space and I messaged her and I said, does Donald wear glasses? <laughs> She's like, I was like, do you know what color they are? And I know I'm like thinking, she has got to think these are the simplest questions she's ever been asked in her life, but I thought it would kind of be funny to try to make the penguin mimic. Um, Donald and so I went with some camo for his hat and I just added a little scarf because he's a penguin you know he needed a scarf and uh, plus it's cold right now you know so I figured it all worked together and then I just used some silver poster board from Hobby Lobby along with some gold poster board that I got at Hobby Lobby and I used my pan pastels to do some detail on the, the little scarf here and right here and a little bit across the brim of the hat so that everything stood out a little more. I inked all of my edges and then used my chalks for the cheeks here and just put little rosy cheeks on, on Mr. Donald Penguin. And... <laughs> I hope that does not sound disrespectful because I sure didn't mean it to sound like I was I hope that this is taken in jest because that's what I meant I just you know how you have those where the people do characters I guess that's what I was kind of trying to create and I would never ever be disrespectful to my elder or to, especially to my elder who was an, a, a vet and so that's what I was trying to go for and kind of mimic Donald by giving him glasses that were similar I used my white um, jelly roll pen for the little white here and there so that I could give it some accents. And then this is the inside of my card and it is a computer generated sentiment. And it just says thank you for your service. And this is actually one of the SVG files I used and I needed it for the hat. And so I just took it and I lightened it so that it's real pale so I could write over top of it if I wanted to. And I had not really done this in a long, long time and actually kind of completely forgotten that I could do it. And so it would have been really neat to actually have covered the entire paper with this image and just made it so light that, you know, I could have written right over top of it and you'd never notice. But... It was still a cute little addition for here in the corner of the card. And then it just says, thank you for your service. And then I'll write um, a short little note right there. And that's it. I believe I said that this is a 5 by 7 card. 
and um, I I think the images are all from my scrap chick I believe they are all from my scrap chick I will try to find them it's very hard to link SVG files in some stores because you click on them it goes directly to your cart it doesn't open up in another window but if I can link them I will I will double check and make sure it is my scrap chick and if I can't link them individually I will try to write the names of them and have a link to the store so that if you're interested in getting any of these files that you can and this one comes from the flag comes from a bear um, like a Memorial Day set and has teddy bears with flags and stuff and um, and then the penguin was like I said the penguin and the scarf came together the hat was that different SVG file so I really had a lot of fun kind of cannibalizing and piecing together the ones that the pieces that I like to make the design that I wanted and I really hope that this brings a smile to his face because I just have fallen in love with it and I'm going to link Elaine's video and her video is called I need your help please that's what it's called it's called I need your help please and um so please I encourage you to go and make a card you don't have to do anything fancy and you know it, like she said she just wants a basic you know thinking of you you know apparently he likes to get mail and you know who doesn't like to get something that isn't a, a bill and if I ever if I live to be 90 plus years of age I think I'd be happy to get stuff in the mail too that wasn't a bill even more so than I am now because it's the little things in life that make me happy. And that's what I try to live by. <laughs> I try to remember it's the little things in life that make me happy. I don't need big things. I just need to know that you care. I don't need you to go out and buy me a Ferrari. I just need to know that if you could, you would. <laughs> that's kind of how I look at things. And um, so if you can help, it would mean a lot to me as far as supporting, you know, somebody who sacrificed and gave a lot for us and I will get off here again this is the front of my card and I'll show you one more time real quickly on the inside because I was really tickled with how that turned out and I mean you can see I could write over top of that without it bothering you know if with ink and you'd never it wouldn't be a problem and Lisa gave me this camo paper that I used for a project at Christmas time so I was able to use it again because he was in, I checked, he was in the army. And the penguin actually was supposed to be, he was an Air Force penguin. So I had to get rid of his little aviator cap and stuff like that. And got rid of the goggles and everything. But I still wanted him to have glasses because the, the gentleman has glasses. So, you know, but just do something that makes you happy. If it makes you happy, it's going to make somebody else happy. And um, that's how I look at it. And that's it. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Alright everybody. Please go check her video out. Remember to practice your CPR. Craft, pray, repeat. Thanks for visiting me today. And happy crafting. I love you all. Bye.